Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQtify tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to incorporate a mapper love graph to your PyQt application. So this is the exercise we'll be doing in this video. So here I have a uh, Qt widget window. Inside this window, I have a mapper love graph. And we'll use the example from mapperlove.org website. And here's an example on how to create a very simple uh, line plot. And here's the output. All right, so let's go into our Python editor. Here I'm going to import the system module. If we look at the libraries, we need to import numpy and import mapplot.pyplot as plt. And I noticed that from the example, this example import the mapplot uh, module directly. I'm not going to do that uh, because that seems to be redundant. To add a mapplot graph to your PyQt application, we need to import a couple more functions. From mapplot the backends the backend underscore Qt5 agg, and this is actually a module. And from this module, from this long name module. We want to import a class called figure converse qt agg and I want to rename this as uh, figure converse. I think that's a much user name to recognize. And this module actually contains the classes and functions that support PyQt framework. And now we can uh, import our PyQt. Uh, classes. So from the Qt widgets module, I want to input a Q application class and Q widget class. And let me make the font size a little bit bigger. All right. So here I'm going to create a class. I'm going to name this class Converse. I'm going to pass figure Converse as the parent class. And from our constructor, we want to add a parameter to the init method. And we're going to name this parameter parent. And this figure converts uh, class requires a figure object as the parameter. So before uh, we initialize the parent class, let's create the figure class first. So here I'm going to uh, create two variables. One is figure and the other one is our axis. So from the plot module dot subplots, I want to specify the size. I'm going to set the chart size to five by four inches. And for the DPI, I'll set this to 200. And depending on your monitor, I'm using a 4K monitor. So my DPI value is a little bit higher. If you're on a 1080p monitor, you may want to reduce the value to maybe like 100 or 50. And here we're going to pass the figure object. And within the converse class, I want to set the parent with the parent argument. And here let me create my app demo class. And this is going to be our application template. And we're going to pass Q widget class as the parent class. And I'll set the window size to 1600 by 800. And to embed the graph to my widget. So here I'm going to create my chart. I'm going to name the object chart. This goes to canvas. And we're going to pass self as the parent class or parent object. And here I'm going to create my Q application instance. And I'll create my app demo instance as demo. Now let's go back to the canvas class. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just copy this block of code. I'm going to just copy paste inside my canvas class. So basically from this point, you are just writing your uh, regular map love script. Except uh, this statement right here, has already been created in line 9. So I can delete that. 
I need to uh, change the x reference to self dot x, and that's it. And let me put a note. My plot lib script. Now, if I launch the application, and here, oh, NumPy is not defined. Here, let me uh, fix that. Right. So if I launch the application and based on the Canvas template, I'm just going to look at the code that generates the matplotlib graph and store that within the figure Canvas widget. So let's treat this as a widget. Within the app demo class, basically embedding this widget right here to our Q widget class. And that's what the output looks like. And if we need to embed a multiple charts. So there are a couple ways to do it. You can uh, specify your subplots to uh, indicating how many graphs you want to create within a window. Or you can create multiple instances of the Converse class and just add each instance to the app demo class. I'll find some time to make tutorials on how to interact map live graph with different widgets such as spin box, push button, sliders, etc. For now, this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.